Hey everyone, welcome back to DOC. So in this video, I'm going to be giving some tips on how to wear your makeup with a face mask on because as you all know, with the current global situation, a lot of places you might be going out to like the mall or restaurants or certain office spaces, they might require you to wear face masks for health reasons. And I know there's a, there's a lot of people out there that still want to feel and look pretty um, by wearing their makeup, but they don't want that to interfere with their mask because you know makeup will rub off on the mask. So I'm just gonna give you some tips today on how to prevent that and you know what to focus on when you are wearing um, a face mask. So what I would suggest starting off this whole routine with is a good moisturizer um, and something that is a little bit on the thicker side because you wanna kinda create a barrier um, from your face um, to the skin the face mask just because the face mask is going to be resting on your face all day and it's going to be rubbing against your face all day um, and with makeup involved it will or most likely cause the skin irritation so i feel like with a good moisturizer you're kind of going to lock in that moisture and create that barrier um, against the face mask now something that i would recommend and i um, have been using is sunscreen because uh, sunscreen like the whole purpose of it is to be sweat resistant and um, uh, water resistance as well depending on the type you get so I would suggest getting a good face sunscreen now the one that I'm gonna be using today is the Neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen um, it's ultra lightweight non greasy water and sweat resistant which is perfect because as you have your face mask face mask on your face um, and you're breathing in that face mask it's going to create moisture so you want to kind of create again create have that barrier to stop that moisture from leaking into your face so um, again I would definitely try out sunscreen um, as something to start off this whole routine with. So I'm just gonna apply some on my face. Well, first I'm gonna clip back my bangs. I had cut them a few weeks ago. Well, I had cut my own front bangs and um, I don't know, I'm indifferent about it, but anyways. It's growing out so, and I'm kinda getting, the use, getting used to side bangs, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> All right, so you really wanna to stick to this, these areas of your face as well because that's where the sunscreen, that's where the face mask is gonna be sitting and your nose as well. And also just generally, um, I had used sunscreen as a makeup primer for a while just because it's a good primer and it, it, it protects your your face from the sun <laughs> as it describes but it is a definitely a good primer to to use um, in your general makeup routine as well and it's something I would recommend for those who are you know outside working a lot and and have to be in the Sun so definitely recommend so I have finished applying the sunscreen all over my face um, try to avoid the eye area because if you get it into your eyes, it will burn and I did get some in my eyes So it wasn't pretty um, And like I said, so something thick with which sunscreen is um, But kind of go after something that that advertises that it feels lightweight and non-greasy Which is the Neutrogena one. So I really like this one um, Next so what I kind of like to do as well with wearing um, wearing makeup with a mask is to constantly um, apply like apply a setting spray um, after each step just to lock in uh, what you did and to make sure it doesn't it's not movable and not transferable so throughout this whole process I'm going to be using the bear with me prime set and refresh setting spray and you don't need to use a lot just a little spritz just to lock in that sunscreen Okay, so next is the foundation. Now, um, if you can avoid wearing foundation, that's something I would recommend, but I know this the whole point is to wear your makeup. Um, so I would choose something very lightweight, um, nothing too heavy because Again, even like although you're you're trying to to make sure it's not transferable, a heavy foundation will most likely transfer onto the mask, and it'll create a lot of irritation. So, 
I would suggest sticking with something very lightweight and not a lot of foundation. You're just gonna go with a very natural uh, finish for the foundation. Um, and again, what I recommend is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. This is something I've been using, <laughs> I always use, and it's like my favorite lightweight um, foundation and it's super buildable. So um, that's what I'm gonna be using today just because it's um, a lightweight formula. So I'm just gonna apply that very lightly all over my face. Okay, so I finished applying the foundation. Again, went with not a lot. I used literally maybe like one and a half pumps um, and I kind of spread it and um, spread that all over my face, creating very sheer finish. Um, and then before I'm gonna set that with the setting spray, I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier um, setting powder. This is honestly, um, this is honestly one of the best um, setting powders um, I've ever used. So this is something I highly recommend to kind of set that foundation all over your face because it definitely will be locked in. Like um, this will keep it good. <laughs> and I'm just going to use like a smaller um, fluff brush so that I can kind of focus on the areas that the mask will be sitting um, and put you know, a good bit of setting powder there. This is honestly, I would say one of the most important steps is the setting powder because this will truly make it um, not as transferable onto the mask. So you want to focus to where you, the mask is going to be sitting, which is usually around this area and the nose. You just want to kind of pack it on too and the bottom because that's where the mask is gonna be sitting. I mean, you don't have to put foundation like this area because I mean, not much people are gonna see that area because of the mask covering it. So you don't have to focus too much on the bottom of your face, but upwards, definitely. I sweat on my nose a lot, so I'm gonna focus on my nose a bit more and the rest of my face. Okay, so now that I'm happy with the amount of translucent setting powder that I put on, um, I, again, I'm gonna go take my bear with me. Oh, <laughs> flick that on my face. Oh, anyways, I'm gonna take my bear with me setting spray and just, again, two little spritz. to lock that in. Okay, so next I'm going to be focusing on the eyes. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face um, after I'm done my eyes. Now, this is kind of the focal point when you are wearing a mask. This is what people are going to see. So you can choose to go as natural as you want or as ex ex extravagant as you want um, based on where you're going to or where you're headed out to. So um, I'm gonna kind of give like a semi um, glam look with some eyeshadow and eyeliner, but nothing too glamorous. Um, now, I would suggest sticking with an eyeshadow that is a little bit shimmery, just to kind of give that pop on your eyelids, because again, that's what people are gonna be seeing. So I'm just gonna prime my eyes with a little bit of concealer first. And then I'm gonna take this NYX uh, Soft and Rosy um, eyeshadow palette that I have. It's super cute and I love the neutral tones because I'm kind of just going for something, um, again, semi-glam, so a little bit natural but pretty. Um, and I'm gonna be using this sparkly um, pink color here and probably this darker um, brown mauve color to kind of contrast that color. So, well, the mauve on the outer lids and then the sparkly on the inner lids. All right, so next, um, depending on how you're feeling and if you, um, on your eyelid shape as well, um, if you want to wear eyeliner, you can. If you don't, you can focus more on, you know, making your eyelashes pop. Um, I'm gonna wear some eyeliner just to create that extra oomph. And I'm just using a liquid eyeliner because it's quick and easy and I'm not doing anything like where it requires me um, a lot of uh, precision. Just kind of creating a small line on my eyelids just again to add that little extra 
pop on the eyelids. Okay, so now that that's done, I didn't, again, I didn't do anything too extravagant. I didn't go with a, you know, a very um, high wing. I just kind of lined uh, just the top of my eyelid to make that pop, the eyelid pop. And next, I'm just going to apply some mascara to finish off the eyes. I got eyelash, <laughs> I got mascara on my eyelids. But there is a good trick. Just wait for it to dry. Take a, um... Take a dry or clean um, like eyelash uh, brush or mascara brush I mean and then gently rub it on top of the area that you got the mascara on and it'll go away okay so now that I have my eyes done I'm going to be focusing on the rest of my face um, just a light contour um, blush and highlight to kind of finish off the look now with the contour you kind of want to kind of know where you're gonna set your face mask, which I'm gonna be setting right about here. So I'm gonna be doing my contour a little bit higher than usual. So that's a little bit noticeable. Nothing like, I'm not gonna be doing it up here, but it's a little bit higher than I usually do so that it creates some definition. And then I'm going to be taking a little bit of bronzer and applying that on the tops of my forehead to create a little bit more definition as well. Oh, my bangs are escaping. Okay, so the next um, important part um, to complete your face is the highlight. You're gonna kinda wanna, I would say do a little bit more than you usually do so if you go for a very natural not a lot of highlight i would just say step it up a little bit more just because people are going to be focusing on this area of your face so you kind of want to make it pop a little bit extra i'm not saying go full highlight crazy but just use a little bit more than you usually do oh and by the way i am using my morphe um highlight and contour palette in um the shades 8H. So I I use this to contour my face, this shade, and I, then I use this bronzer um, on the top of my forehead. And then I'll be using just a mixture of the highlights to highlight my face as well. Okay, so there you have um, the rest of my face. Um, so one thing I'm not going to be doing at all is um, applying lipstick and that's just because it's just gonna be a mess underneath that mask It's if you are applying this lipstick It's going to transfer onto that mask and it might rub against your face as well as well So when you take off that mask, it might not be that pretty underneath So um, what I would suggest sticking with is just a nice lip balm just to keep your lips moisturized throughout the day um, do not recommend using a lipstick. You can use like maybe a colored lip balm. I'm gonna be using a clear lip balm because I know nobody's gonna see my face or my lips. So I'm just gonna apply my chapstick, nothing fancy here, just to keep my lips moisturized. Um, I know like it might not feel like you're completing the look and if you have to go out afterwards, I mean just apply your your lip balm after you take take off your mask, apply your lipstick in the washroom or in your car before if you before you have to go out anywhere after wearing your lip, your face mask. So do not recommend wearing lipstick under the face mask. So now that I finished off my face, I'm just going to be putting on my mask just so you guys could see the finished look. Okay, so oh I forgot one step actually. Is my setting spray which is the most important part um, you're going to want to use so I'm not going to be using the um, the NYX one that I've been using throughout my makeup process I am gonna be now using my all-nighter um, urban decay setting spray because this is amazing it's long-lasting and your makeup is not going to move um, so this is something I am going to recommend using um, just to finish off the whole look. So I'm just gonna shake the bottle and put a little spritz. Okay, now back to the mask. <laughs> um, all right, so put that on there, and yeah, this is the finished look once again. 
sitting right on my nose area so again you want to make sure you're packing on that translucent powder on these areas because it'll help with not making the, the makeup transfer onto the face mask as well as not causing skin irritation and again my eyes are the focal point so you're gonna make them you're gonna want to make them really pop you can you know even go more glamorous than I did but I didn't really want to go over the top today and lastly gonna reiterate um, I can feel my lips touching the face mask so again do not wear lipstick or any type of um, thick lip um, stick or uh, lip gloss especially that's a, definitely a big no in my opinion because it's just going to create a big mess underneath there and it's going to transfer onto the face mask and then transfer back onto your face and it's just going to look horrible so again <laughs> don't wear it um but yeah i mean it, i'm just going to take off this mask because i'm talking a lot and i can't breathe <laughs> um but yeah, so I mean, if any of you have any tips um, that I didn't mention that have really worked well for you with wearing makeup and a face mask, please leave them down below because I'm sure um, that anybody who who is wearing a face mask on a daily basis is going to appreciate these tips because let's face it, this is kind of like our new normal right now. So again, I would love to hear your tips down below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Bye for now.